one of our most prolific speakers since this whole thing started 24 weeks ago. Put your hands together to get Chris Sky up here! Ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly of all, law enforcement officials. How are you today? Freedom! I don't know if you've been watching our protests, our videos, our speeches, our interviews for the last 24 weeks, but virtually every single thing we warned about and talked about and screamed from the rooftops has come to fruition. If you notice, we're about to go back on lockdown. There is no denying this fact. If you go around and you talk to the law enforcement officials around you, any of the sergeants or above were made aware of this information over a month ago. Over a month ago. Get that in your heads, people. So, when they're feeding you this predictive programming about how they're doing everything in their power to prevent another lockdown, that is 100% certified bullshit. I just got back from Ireland where I was invited to go speak at their national protest to kick off a giant march. They were supposed to open on the 20th of September. They were told for months the pubs are going to open, everything's going back to normal. I was privy to otherwise information. So I went there and I spoke to them and it resonated and they understood that this pre-planned lockdown was coming for them. And I told them, not only are you not gonna open on the 20th, but they're gonna lock you back down. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. And that's exactly what happened in Israel. That's exactly what happened in the UK. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. If you have any denial or doubt of that fact, give your head a shake. Where does it go from here? It's obvious, people. They've already told you CERB was ending in two days. Wow, guess what? They're already replacing it with three brand new programs. CRB, CRSB, and CRCB. Why? Because they know when they shut down the next wave of businesses and kill millions of more jobs, they need to make that universal income more available to more and more Canadians. Why? To increase dependence on government so they can increase their control over you. An independent business owner can say no. They employ others who can say no. Somebody dependent on their so-called CRB, CRSB, CRCB will take the vaccine or they will not be able to get their money. It's called no jab, no pay. And Australia is already doing it. If you think they aren't gonna do it here, you're wrong, they will. They're already trying. They already extended your masks well into next year. And these new CRB payments are continuing until July 2021. Why? Because that's when they plan on locking you down till. They're gonna lock you down in the next couple weeks, gradually, it started with the strip clubs, because who's gonna, who's gonna stand up for the poor strip clubs? Absolutely nobody. <laughs> now it's gonna be the bars have to close down earlier and earlier, because you know, COVID knows what time it is. <laughs> and slowly and slowly, more and more of our businesses are gonna be shut down. All the while, they give you the bleeding heart story of how they're doing everything they can to prevent this, but if only we would wear more masks, and do more contact tracing, none of this would be necessary. It's bullshit! I just came back from the Netherlands. The Dutch are intelligent. The Dutch are independent. And guess what? The Dutch are maskless. When I told them that we are planning on putting masks on our school children, I heard child abuse. I heard North Korea. I heard, are you friggin' kidding me? This is what a, this is what logic and common sense says when you show masks on kids. Meanwhile, in our country, anybody who even suggests the idea that a four-year-old child shouldn't wear a mask eight hours a day is a conspiracy theorist, is irresponsible, is anti-science. 
give me a break. The WHO website says right now to this day, there is no high quality scientific evidence to show that masks prevent viral transmission. And the WHO does not recommend masks for use in the general public. So why are we using them? It's about compliance, people. They don't care about your health. That's why you can wear anything on your face. You can wear a piece of plastic on your face. As long as they show compliance, they're happy. Why? Because mandatory masks leads to mandatory contact tracing, which leads to mandatory vaccination. And that's their goal. And they keep telling you, just take the vaccine, everything will be fine. No! When you take the vaccine, you know what they will tell you next? And remember these words, because they love to use words that you've heard before, because it goes right into your subconscious. They're going to say, sorry everybody, the vaccine isn't a silver bullet. It's not as 100% effective like we were hoping. Therefore, it's just another protective measure we have to take in the fight against COVID. So you still got to wear your mask, you still got to contact trace, you still got to social distance, we're still going to restrict your travel and lives, and now you're going to take a vaccine once, maybe twice a year. Thank you very much. Hell no! Hell no! Ladies and gentlemen, this is all due to compliance. If everybody acted like me, crazy, and simply took off the mask, this ends tomorrow. Everybody... <laughs> gradual tiptoe to tyranny and it works look at our poor law enforcement officials i'm talking to every single one of you all of you all of you the dozens and dozens of you that spotted me even before i could park my car because i'm supposed to be quarantined everybody remember this i was overseas so i came home and i'm not allowed to be out because the government said so they said they're following health guidelines where did they get those guidelines the cdc remove those quarantine guidelines from their website. Studies out of Europe have shown that asymptomatic people cannot transmit a virus. There has not been one documented case of asymptomatic transmission. So their quarantine is bullshit. They know it's bullshit. Why? I'm proof of that. Because why am I not in handcuffs? Why am I not getting fined? Because they know. They know that I fight back. And they know that I fight back. I will win! And then I'll be a shining example for the rest of you! So what do they do? They try to intimidate me. They said, get out of here. Or we're gonna do this, or we're gonna do that. Guess what? I'm right here. Come and do it. Come and do it. We're not gonna do anything. You know why? Because together, we are strong. Together, our voice and our actions make a difference. That's why they want to divide us with fear through race by getting us against the police, by getting us essential versus non-essential. Forget about it. This is about united, non-compliant. It doesn't matter what your age, your race, your ethnicity, whether you're a civilian, whether you're law enforcement, whether you're government, freedom is essential. I gotta to appeal to you. I know the vast majority of you know this is bullshit. I know the vast majority of you don't agree with the so-called lawful orders they're telling you to carry out. Well, guess what, law enforcement? As this progresses, the orders they're gonna give you will remain to be lawful, but they will become more and more unethical. And when their orders are lawful yet unethical, you know you're doing wrong. And when you knowingly do wrong, history will judge you. We will judge you. And I know that you want to be represented by your community. I know you want to protect your community. We're not the ones telling you we want to defund you. No, that's John Tory, your boss. Trying to get you to impose draconian so-called lawful orders against the population. Do you not see what's going on? What do you think is going to happen when you get defunded, disbanded, disarmed? 
You're going to be just like us. You're going to be just another sheep in the street without a badge, without a gun. And then guess what they're going to do? They're going to treat you just like us. And they're going to bring other people from other countries with guns that don't have friends and families in the community. And their private security force is going to treat you worse than you've been treating us. So it's about time you wake up. It's about time you realize that we are not your enemy. We support you. We love you. We want to keep you safe. the blue, the best way to keep them safe is to get them to not comply with us. Why are you taking orders you know are wrong? Why are you taking orders that are harming your own family, your own children, your friends, your other community members? That's not why you signed up to be law enforcement. You signed up to be a pillar of light to the community, not the friggin' darkness that goes over it. And you know we're right. It's very easy to tell that this is a battle of good versus evil. Yeah. Truth versus deceit. It's that simple. I am telling the truth. Nobody can say otherwise. Truth is light. Light is good. And that's why we will win. Yeah. You cannot stop the light, no matter how much darkness you try to throw at it. They will try to cancel our holidays. They will try to make us feel like we're hopeless and despair. Well, guess what? We're going to be giving all that back to you. No one's canceling anything. Thanksgiving's still on. Go see your friends and family. We're going to have Halloween parties because we say so. We're going to have Christmas. If people want to celebrate their ethnic holiday, they're going to do that too. Why? Because this is our country. We are not Australia. You are not going to impose draconian curfews and checkpoints and other measures upon us. It's not going to happen. And if you try, it's going to backfire like every other thing you've tried to do to me. You understand? I'm talking to everybody here. The only way forward is to stop making excuses. The only way forward is to realize that you just simply not comply. There are so many countries in the world that are doing better than us. Why do you think our borders are closed to outside travelers? They don't want the world to know what's going on here. They don't want people to come from other countries and be like, wow, Canada sucks now. Right? Because then you might actually wake up. They don't want you to talk to people like me because I speak the truth and I'm not afraid of them. You hear that? I'm not afraid of you. That's what this is all about. Fear. As soon as you give up that fear, they lose control over you. So trade the fear for anger. Get mad. Get mad. Because then you can't be controlled. Then you will be ready to act. And when you are ready to act, I will be there standing shoulder to shoulder with each and every one of you. Thank you, everybody.